Hello and assalamu alaikum. I hope all of you are having a good day. If not, then this video will make your day good. Today, my mother is going to be making chicken shami kebab. As you can see, she is using a hand blender instead of a normal blender as it is more simpler and more quicker. So, let's get started. Bismillah rahman rahim The ingredients for this recipe are 1 cup soaked chickpea lentils or chane ki dal, half kg boneless chicken, 2 tablespoon crushed green chili, 2 tablespoon sliced coriander leaves, 2 medium sliced onion, 8 to 10 garlic cloves, 1 tablespoon crushed ginger, 2 to 3 eggs, salt according to taste, 1 teaspoon chaat masala, half teaspoon turmeric powder, 1 teaspoon crushed red chili, 1 teaspoon red chili powder, 1 teaspoon cumin seeds, half teaspoon black pepper powder, half teaspoon garam masala powder. Now in a karahi add 1 cup water and add the lentils. Then add the chicken. Then add the garlic, ginger and the onions. Now add all the spices except the black pepper powder and the garam masala powder. Now add one more cup of water. and cover the karahi with a lid for one hour. After one hour, you will take off the lid and you will take out the chicken. Now you will shred the chicken. After shredding, put the chicken back into the karahi. Now you will add the coriander leaves and the green chili and you will also add the black pepper and garam masala powder now. You will mix it well. Then you will put the mixture in a separate bowl. Now you will blend the mixture. You can use a hand blender for quicker and simpler process but if you don't have a hand blender, you can also use the normal blender. This will be tips from my mother. Shadow turns the sun rays and on and on we'll go 
Once all the mixture has been blended, you will now shave the kebabs. With our ingredients you can make up to 20 kebabs and now you will beat the eggs and now preheat a pan and add some oil then coat the kebab in the eggs and place it in the pan You will fry the kebabs until their color changes and you will flip the sides one by one. Once you flip the kebab and your other side is done, your kebab is ready to be served and I hope you guys like the recipe once you make it at your home. Don't forget to give this video a like, share this video on the channel with your family and friends, subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon so you can miss any video from 5in Kitchen and as always take care Allah Hafiz.